Glittering things always make my heart flutter. It feels good to do the freely on paper, and it feels good to write something in the air with lights. Seems that the node configuration is a bit complicated. I think there may be a simpler way to implement this. And first, I would like to share what Neil Marshall left as a comment on the last video comments section. That's how the video ended. This expression is possible if you use a different view. Thanks again to Neil Marshall for the nice comment. Let's come back and let's take a look at the result we are going to proceed with this time. Lines drawn and disappearing are the same as in the previous video, but the part that goes one step further is that there is an object at the end of the drawn line. For such an expression, two approaches are possible. One way is to think about the drawn line first and implement it. Basically, it is a method to implement a fairly drawn line and then always position the object at the drawn end point. Another way is there is a way to make the object's trajectory be rendered as thick lines while freely moving the object. Personally, I think that extracting a trajectory while moving an object follows for more diverse expressions, but the easiest way to approach in my level right now is to draw a line and place the object at its end point. It also provides an option called endpoint selection which is kind to geometry nodes. Endpoint selection is a feature that literally lets us select the ends of the curve. I set the direction of the video production in a way to clearly understand some of the features. Through this video, we want to make sure we understand. First, create a curve, then create a thickness on the curve. Second, to adjust the thickness of the curve. Third. Place the object at the end of the curve. Fourth, making the curve disappear as soon as it is drawn. Fifth, the object at the end of the curve also disappears with the progress of the frame. I wanted to implement all these things through geometry nodes, but I am currently limited by my skills. The gradual disappearance of the objects at the end of the last curve is done by inserting keyframes in the shader. If you know how to control the transparency of an object with the geometry nodes, please leave a comment. First, create a curve through the geometry nodes, then create the thickness of the curve. Delete the default cube and add a Bezier curve object. Click the geometry node tab and click new to create a new node tree. Since the curve has thickness, it will eventually become a mesh with a curve to mesh node. Usually, a circle is used a lot as a curve section, so even if we do not apply a profile curve to this curve to mesh node, if the thickness option is added, much simpler node tree will be able to express various expressions, like Blender's bevel depth. However, since there is no such function yet, we have to designate the profile curve. Connect the curve circle to the profile curve socket to create the thickness. Second, how to control the thickness of the curve. To adjust the thickness of the curve, we need to add a set curve radius node. If we want to have a different thickness for the start and end point of the curve, add a curve parameter node. Third, how to position the object at the end of the curve. First, add an object beside the curve. Then add a join geometry node so that both objects are visible. Add an instance on points node to position each point on the curve and connect the object to the instance socket. Add an endpoint selection node to select the endpoints of the curve. Enter stat size as 0 to select only the endpoint. Now, when we draw freely, the object is always positioned at the endpoint. Fourth, how to make the curve disappear as soon as it is drawn. Just like left effects, 
we use string cob node. For the effect that the timeline plays and disappears, add a value node and a map range node. If you add a hashtag framing value, the disappearing effect is implemented. Fifth, the object at the end of the curve also disappears with the progress of the frame. I have not yet found a way to implement it through a geometry node, so I made it disappear as a keyframe through the mix shader. After doing some additional work, we can write it down with the lights like this. Turning the view three-dimensionally, I lower my mind as I think about the aspects of my life that I haven't looked at. That's it for this video. Thank you for your time.